The Xinlong Formation, sometimes called the Napai Formation, is an early Cretaceous geologic formation in Guangxi, in southern China. Dinosaur remains diagnostic to the genus level are among the fossils that have been recovered from the formation. The Naposaurus holotype consists of a right ilium and ischium discovered in 2020. It represents the first basal iguanodontian to be named from southern China. Lubangosaurus is known from five nearly complete and articulated middle caudal dorsal vertebrae. A 2013 comprehensive analysis of basal titanosauriforms found Lubangosaurus to nest in the Somphospondyli. Fragmentary postcranial remains of Fusuosaurus have been discovered in 2001. This sauropod has been described as a basal titanosauriform. This sauropod was very large animal, as its humerus was 185 centimeters long. Despite this, the weight of this sauropod is estimated only at about 35,000 kilograms. Since it is based only on teeth, Siamosaurus's body size is uncertain, though it has been estimated at between 5 to 9 meters in length. Its teeth were straight, oval to circular in cross-section, and lined with distinct lengthwise grooves. Its teeth had wrinkled enamel, similar to teeth from the related genus Baryonyx. As a spinosaur it would have had a long, low snout and robust forelimbs, and one possible skeleton indicates the presence of a tall sail running down its back. Daytanglong is a large predatory theropod with a length of roughly 8 to 9 meters. The last dorsal vertebra has a pleurocele, or pneumatic cavity, that is bounded by an enlarged posterior ridge between the diapophysis and the vertebral body, by the posterior ridge between the parapophysis and the vertebral body, and by the vertebral body itself. The Olanza High Formation has traditionally been considered to date to the Aptian Albion stages of the Lower Cretaceous, due to similarities between the Olanza High fauna and known Aptian formations. However, radiometric dating done on underlying formations has shown this to be incorrect. Due to the age of underlying rocks, the Olanza High Formation cannot be older than the Turonian stage of the Late Cretaceous. Gobisaurus is very similar to another earlier named ankylosaur called Shamosaurus, yet there are enough differences in the skull features to be certain that these are separate genera, but ones that seem to be closely related. Cynocephale is potentially the oldest known pachycephalosaurid and falls within the subset of the family called pachycephalosaurini. They were small bipedal animals bearing thickened skulls with a dome shape on their tops. Among pachycephalosaurs, the most distinctive anatomical trait and sole autopomorphy, or trait unique to a specific species, of cynocephale is the prominent embayment on the back of the parietal. Calantosaurus was a large theropod, measuring 11 meters long and weighing 2 to 4 tons. It has had a jumbled taxamink history since its initial discovery mainly due to the inclusion of fragmentary remains that were later found to represent other, although similar dinosaurs.
Even though Sheakilong and Kalantasaurus are now in their own separate genera, they are still related to one another, kind of like distant cousins. Their presence in the same fossil formation also indicates that they were probably active at the same time and location as one another. Cynornithomimus was a small ornithomimid measuring 2, 5 meters in length and weighing about 90 kilograms with a relatively short neck and head for a member of that group. The structure its hand is similar to that of Archaeornithomimus representing thus an intermediate between the primitive condition of the Harpimimus and the one of the more derived ornithomimids. As indicated by the fluvial and lacustrine sedimentation, the Iron de Basu formation was a large floodplain terrain with braided rivers and meanders that supported extensive vegetation, evidenced on the prominent Paleosol development and the numerous remains from herbivorous dinosaurs. Egg nests, caliche and paleosols seem to indicate periodic subaerial intervals. It is rich on dinosaur fauna, with multiple species described, in the other hand, mammals seem to be extremely absent. A typical Bactrosaurus would have been 6 meters long and weighed 1 ton it was an early relative of Lambiosaurus and shows a number of iguanodont-like features, including three stacked teeth for each visible tooth, small maxillary teeth, and an unusually powerful build for a hadrosaur. During Gilmoriosaurus times, the formation was dominated by braided floodplains and large meanders with some connections to the oceans. Extensive vegetation that maintained a great variety of herbivorous dinosaurs was also present on the formation as seen on the multiple skeletons of hadrosauroids, the prominent paleosol and the numerous palynological occurrences. Sotinosaurus was a small titanosaur, about 9 meters long. In a 2017 review of Asian titanosaurs, it was considered a lithostrotian titanosaur, with possible saltosaurid affinities. In particular, it shared with saltosaurids a posterior centrodiapophyseal lamina on its dorsal vertebrae. The hind limb of Electrosaurus is notable for the particular elongated digits and metatarsals, differing from other tyrannosauroids. These traits are found in terrestrial runner birds, suggesting that it was suited as a fast-running tyrannosauroid dinosaur with well-developed hind limbs, probably a pursuit predator. It was a medium-sized tyrannosauroid, reaching a length between 5 and 6 meters, and a weight ranging from 450 to 900 kilograms overall. The hind limbs were rather gracile, in contrast to the robust tyrannosaurids. Early Ansaurus was a bipedal herbivore. For a therizinosauroid, its cervicals were rather short. The preserved femur was very straight and had a very rounded femoral head, it measures 40 centimeters. In a 2006 conference abstract, Sarah Birch presented the inferred range of motion in the arms of the Therizinosaur Nymongosaurus and concluded the overall motion at the glenoid humeral joint at the shoulder was roughly circular, and directed sideways and slightly downwards, which diverged from the more oval, backwards and downwards directed ranges of other theropods. This ability to extend their arms considerably forwards may have helped Nymongosaurus reach and grasp for foliage. Gigantoraptor was the largest known oviraptorosaur, reaching 8 meters length and 2 metric tons in body mass. It had an extensively pneumatized vertebral column and elongated arms and legs. Though several oviraptorosaur species are known to have developed a full coat of feathers, Gigantoraptor, 
due to its size, could have lost some of this integument. It was a giant, ground-dwelling bipedal omnivore or herbivore with a shearing bite as indicated by the preserved mandible. The shape of its beak indicates a generalist diet with a potentially occasional carnivory. The discovery and examination of large oviraptorosaur eggs, indicates that large species such as Gigantoraptor built their nests with the center lacking eggs in order to avoid crushing. Kinagnathasia would presumably have resembled other oviraptorosaurs, which were feathered, bird-like dinosaurs with beaked skulls, long necks, and long limbs. Recent studies suggest it was one of the more primitive members of the Senegnathidae. Archaeornithomimus was likely an omnivore equipped with a horny beak, eating everything from small mammals, to plants and fruit, to eggs, and even hatchlings of other Asian dinosaurs. It was a feathered animal, with very ratite-like feathers and equipped with a keratinous beak. The hind limbs were robustly built. The Wangshir group is a geological group in Shandong, China whose strata date back to the Coniation to Campanian stages of the late Cretaceous. Dinosaur remains are among the fossils that have been recovered from the group. Pinacosaurus was a medium-sized ankylosaurine, about 5 meters long. Its body was flat and low-slung but not as heavily built as in some other members of the ankylosaurine. The head was protected by bone tiles, hence its name. A smooth beak bit off low-growing plants that were sliced by rows of small teeth and then swallowed to be processed by the enormous hindgut. Neck, back and tail were protected by an armor of keeled osteoderms. The animal could also actively defend itself by means of a tail club. It has been suggested that the relatively light build of Pinacosaurus was an adaptation to gain agility to better fight small theropods, the moderately large club being fast enough to hit these swift targets. Micropachycephalosaurus likely only grew up to one meter long when fully grown and it was a bipedal and herbivorous dinosaur. This dinosaur has the longest name of any dinosaur, with 23 letters in the genus name alone, while the full binomial contains 37 letters. Paleontologist Dong Ziming originally described it as a member of the Pachycephalosauria, a group of bipedal dome-headed herbivores. Ischiaceratops is one of the few ceratopsian dinosaurs which is not known by the skull. The most peculiar traits are located in the ischium. With most relatives the ischium shaft has a constant curvature to the rear. Another characteristic of Ischiaceratops is the presence of an elevation in the proximal part of its tail. Zuchingceratops shares many features with Leptoceratopsidae as well as other ceratopsian groups such as Ceratopsidae. The overall size of the taxon was similar to Leptoceratops, although slightly larger. Cynoceratops was a medium-sized, averagely built, ground-dwelling, quadrupedal herbivore. It could grow up to an estimated 5 meters in length and weigh up to 2 tons. It was the first ceratopsid dinosaur discovered in China, and the only ceratopsid known from Asia. All other centrosaurines, and all chasmosaurines.
It is also significant because it is one of the largest known centrosaurines, and is much larger than any other known basal members of this group. Tanius is one of the many known Asian hadrosauroid dinosaurs, but one that is not very well represented. The initial description was based upon the back of the skull which seems to be that of a flat-headed hadrosauroid dinosaur, the kind roughly between the earlier iguanodonts and the more advanced hadrosaurids. Laengosaurus is known from one species, Laengosaurus yungi, found in the Laiyang Basin within the province of Shandong. Shantungosaurus is one of the largest known ornithischians. The type skull is 1.60 meters long. The largest individuals may have weighed as much as 16 tons, which makes this dinosaur the largest hadrosaur. Like all hadrosaurs its beak was toothless, but its jaws were packed with around 1500 tiny chewing teeth. A large hole near its nostrils may have been covered by a loose flap of skin, which could be inflated to make sounds. As a hadrosaur, Cintosaurus had the characteristic duck bill, snout and a battery of powerful teeth which it used to chew vegetation. It usually walked on all fours, but could rear up on its hind legs to scout for predators and flee when it spotted one. Like other hadrosaurs, Cintosaurus probably lived and traveled in herds. Zucanctitan can be identified by the extreme width of the top end of its humerus, as well as the expansion of the deltopectoral crest on its humerus, both of these characteristics indicate that it was likely closely related to Epistocelicaudia. However, it differs from the latter by the flatter bottom articulating surface of its humerus. Zuching Tyrannus was a large carnivorous theropod, and the holotype has been estimated to have been similar in size and gross morphology to Tarbosaurus, which is about 10 meters in body length. However, it lacks a subcutaneous flange on the posterodorsal part of the jugal ramus of the maxilla, and a ventrally convex palatal shelf that covers the bulges of the roots of the rear teeth in medial view. The Sabashi Formation is a late Cretaceous formation from the Xinjiang Autonomous Region of Western China. It contains remains of Tarbosaurus, remains of a sauropod, and a hadrosaurid, likely Jaxartosaurus, have also been found. The formation is located in the Flaming Mountains region of Xinjiang, north of the Turpan Depression. Originally from Canada, this species of Euoplocephalus has no specific name yet as it is still a dubious species. Its body was low-slung and very flat and wide, standing on four sturdy legs. Its head had a short drooping snout with a horny beak to bite off plants that were digested in the large gut. Like other ankylosaurids, Euoplocephalus was largely covered by bony armor plates, among them rows of large high-ridged oval scuts. Jaxartosaurus had a large crest that it may have used for visual identification, 
or to vocalize with members of the same species, as inferred for other lambiosaurines. They were likely herbivores, grazing on low-lying plants. Like other titanosaurs, the teeth are slender pencil-like structures that are ground down at a sharp angle to produce a chisel-like tip. The diet of Namictosaurus is unknown, however. There are no plant fossils from the Gobi, but during the late Cretaceous, flowering plants became increasingly diverse, although in many environments ferns and conifers were still more common. Neither is it clear whether Namictosaurus browsed high in the trees or grazed on low-growing plants. Comparisons between the scleral rings of Nemectosaurus and modern birds and reptiles suggest that it may have been cathemeral, active throughout the day at short intervals. Tarbosaurus was a large bipedal predator, with the type specimen measuring approximately 10 meters long, 3 meters tall at the hips, and weighing up to 5 tons. It had a unique locking mechanism in its jaw, equipped with about 60 large teeth, and the smallest arms relative to body size of all tyrannosaurids, renowned for their disproportionately tiny, two-fingered hands. Tarbosaurus lived in a humid floodplain crisscrossed by river channels. In this environment, it was an apex predator preying on other large dinosaurs. Most remains are found in the Nemegd formation of Mongolia, but some specimens lived also in China during the same period as it was quite the same kind of ecosystem. This species of Tyrannosaurus, T. terpenensis, is a dubious species, possibly a Tarbosaurus. The paleo environment the Bayan Mandahu Formation preserves was semi arid and characterized by alluvial and aeolian sediments. The formation is known for its vertebrate fossils, most of which are preserved in unstructured sandstone, indicating burial by wind blown sandstorms. The fauna is very similar in composition to the nearby Jadakta Formation, and the two may have been deposited at roughly the same time. These two formations share many of the same genera but differ in the makeup of species. Amongst Nanciuncleids, Basilemis is considered to be most similar to tortoises. Many paleontologists have described the behaviors of Basilemis to likely be comparable to that of tortoises, due to living in terrestrial habitats and consuming tough plants. It is easily distinguishable from other fossil turtles due to how thick its shell is, the intricate sculpture of rows of triangular tubercles separated by pits, and its reduced inframarginal scales. Based on the size of these skulls, Telmosaurus was larger than other Cretaceous varanoid lizards, approaching the size of modern monitor lizards. Its skull is flatter than most other varanoids. The fusion of two bones in the skull called frontals links Telmosaurus with other early varanids like Paravaranus. The lacrimal bone of Telmosaurus has a single hole in it, as do those of other early varanoids. Bagaceratops was a small-sized protoceratopsid, 
reaching adult dimensions of about 1.5 meters in length and around 40 kilograms in body mass. It had a smaller frill, about 10 grinding teeth per jaw, and more triangular skull than its close relative, Protoceratops. Although both Bagaceratops and Protoceratops were very similar, the former had a much derived skull morphology. Protoceratops, like many other ceratopsians, were herbivores equipped with prominent jaws and teeth suited for chopping foliage and other plant material. They are thought to have lived in highly sociable groups of mixed ages. They appear to have cared for their young. They laid soft-shelled eggs, a rare occurrence in dinosaurs. During maturation, the skull and neck frill underwent rapid growth. Protoceratops were hunted by Velociraptor, and one particularly famous specimen preserves a pair of them locked in combat. It used to be characterized as nocturnal because of the large sclerotic ring around the eye, but they are now thought to have been cathemeral. Alvarez soroids are known for their short forelimbs, each with a single greatly enlarged second digit. Although Alvarez soroids were once thought to have only a single digit on each forelimb, more recent evidence has shown that most species have reduced third and fourth digits. Lenhinicus is the first known Alvarez sorid to have only a single, second digit. Linharaptor was a bird-like theropod dinosaur. It was a dromaeosaurid which measured approximately 1.8 meters in length, and weighed up to approximately 25 kilograms at that size, Linharaptor would have been a fast and agile predator, perhaps preying on small ceratopsians. Velociraptor was about 2 meters long with a body mass around 18 kilograms it nevertheless shared many of the same anatomical features. It was a bipedal, feathered carnivore with a long tail and an enlarged sickle-shaped claw on each hind foot, which is thought to have been used to tackle and restrain prey. Velociraptor can be distinguished from other dromaeosaurids by its long and low skull, with an upturned snout. The distinctive claw, on the second digit of dromaeosaurids, has traditionally been depicted as a slashing weapon, its assumed use being to cut and disembowel prey. Velociraptor was warm-blooded to some degree, as it required a significant amount of energy to hunt. Modern animals that possess feathery or furry coats, like Velociraptor did, tend to be warm-blooded, since these coverings function as insulation. Linhevenator is a trudontid, a group of small, bird-like, gracile manoraptorans. All trudontids have many unique features of the skull, such as closely spaced teeth in the lower jaw, and large numbers of teeth. Trudontids have sickle claws and raptorial hands, and some of the highest non-avian encephalization quotients, meaning they were behaviorally advanced and had keen senses. Known from a nearly complete skull and fragmentary, semi-articulated postcranial material thought to represent a single, individual animal, Papiliovenator means butterfly hunter. This little carnivore, which was less than a meter long, might well have hunted butterflies and other members of the Lepidoptera, but the derivation of the genus name does not reflect this dinosaur's diet. Instead, it was the unusual shape of the neural arches associated with the two dorsal vertebrae closest to the neck of this dinosaur that inspired the genus name. Philovenator is a trudontid, a group of small, bird-like, gracile manoraptorans. All trudontids have many unique features of the skull, such as closely spaced teeth in the lower jaw, and large numbers of teeth. Trudentids have sickle claws and raptorial hands, and some of the highest non-avian encephalization quotients, meaning they were behaviorally advanced and had keen senses. Woolatolong has been considered to be a fairly basal oviraptorid similar to some genera such as Incisivosaurus and Codipteryx. 
Unfortunately the holotype remains of Wulatalang have suffered erosion from the harsh environment that they were found in because they were discovered already exposed to the elements. Macarasaurus was a small bipedal theropod, measuring 1.5 meters long. The describers established a single autopomorphy, unique derived trait, the hand claws are very elongated and blade-like in side view, with a length four times that of the joint height. Gobipteryx is believed to have been capable of flight. The scapula is long, and therefore, well suited for flight by having more area for muscle attachment. In addition, the forelimb of Gobipteryx is more than twice the length of the thorax, falling within the acceptable range observed in flying birds.